prayers in Pakistan for Shazada and Suleiman Dawood, a father and son lost on the doomed Titan sub. Members of one of the country's most prominent families. Their deaths have resulted in an outpouring of grief. We are very sad. They own many businesses which provide jobs to lots of people. This accident has shocked the entire nation. The other men lost, including French maritime explorer Paul-Henri Narjolet, dubbed Mr. Titanic, are also being remembered. His life was led with, with you know, joy and laughter and love and adventure. The sub's mothership, the Polar Prince, is returning to Newfoundland, where Canada's Transportation Safety Board will carry out an investigation into the incident. As criticisms grow, that Ocean Gate's CEO, Stockton Rush, cut too many corners with his homemade vessel. A very enthusiastic innovator and business entrepreneur. But there are rules, and then there are sound engineering principles, and then there are the laws of physics. It's been confirmed that the US Navy picked up acoustic data consistent with a possible implosion around the time contact with the sub was lost. And that's raised questions here about whether the costly and lengthy search and rescue operation was based on false hope. They couldn't be definitive about what that data meant. And they couldn't be clear that that data was connected to the Titan. A further mission was launched to the site where the Titan debris was found, close to the Titanic's bow. But the remains of those lost are likely never to be recovered. One tragic loss of life in the deep sea, now compounded by another. Barbara Miller, ABC News.